This year, Adelaide is something of a landmark for the team. After six years and three world championships, Ayrton Senna is about to have his last race in the familiar red and white car. What's more, if he wins here, it'll be an historic victory. At the moment, we have 103 Grand Prix wins, same as Ferrari, which we equal in Japan. And if we do do it, it means that we'll be the most successful Grand Prix in history so far. Yeah, Mika on that wheel there. OK, a few guys, if you want... McLaren's head of communications, Norman Howell, reflects on the year. We did better than it could have been a driver than Mika. We've lost Senna, unfortunately. But McLaren is not a team to dwell on something like that. I mean, a team ultimately has to be bigger than, than any of the drivers. All victories are sweet, but some... You can win and you can be unhappy. And I think that's why I'm across the time. Dressed for the last time in the McLaren uniform, Senna joins the photograph of the drivers in this year's championship. Missing from this group is Senna's colleague, American Michael Andretti, who began the season with McLaren, but was replaced in the last three races by Mika Hakkinen. I was sad to see Michael go because I'm a, a great believer in going for it and right until the end. And so I was sad to see, see him go before the end of the year, and yet... It's Friday afternoon, and time for the first qualifying session. The team is beginning its preparations for a race that could put McLaren into the history books. On the street circuit of Adelaide, it is hard to overtake. On this track, the key to success is a place at the front of the grid. So here, a good qualifying performance is vital. Senna sets off at a blistering pace. The sooner danger he will run out of fuel on the circuit, and the pit wall team decide to call him in. But his radio button is stuck on transmit. He can't hear his instructions, and doesn't know why. Come in very slow, you're running out of fuel. Very slow, radio stuck on. Very slow lag. Very, very slow lag. Ironically, as he calls in vain to get orders from the pit wall, he drives the fastest lap of the day. He ends the session in pole position. Just as well the radio button stuck. Quite useful, that. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> It's a good thing it did. <laughs> <laughs> you 
we'd have told him to come in if it wouldn't have been stuck. <laughs> Yes, I did a good job. Yeah, I think. Uh... Senna's record breaking lap is a powerful reminder of what the team will be losing. It's sad. ayrton has been with us a long time. He's uh, certainly one of the best racing drivers I've ever come across, if not the best. Um, and he'll be missed, particularly when he puts that yellow helmet on and gets in the car. You know that. In the second qualifying session, no one manages to beat the lap time Senna set yesterday. Given the circuit and the circumstances, he can never have won a more important pole position. It's also the first pole position for McLaren for nearly two years, and the first for a Ford Cosworth engine for ten. The second day, which was the slowest day, this year we did the first day. The right day. The right day. So it means we learn. Yes. We have a, a very difficult task in our hands because uh, for the race uh, we are absolutely on the maximum and we cannot, we are not allowed to make a single mistake, be uh, a fine tune in the setup of the car or in the strategy during the race, in the rhythm you, adjust, you adopt and throughout the race overtake maneuvers, tie stops, we cannot mistake at all. And uh, therefore, that's, uh, I think, uh, a lot of pressure to get everything right, right on the limit, to be there and still having to fight there. Now here's Noel Wilson, but at the track, he'll keep us up to date with the Grand Prix during the afternoon on SAFM. A final setting up. McLaren's happy with their cars. They're doing fine. Williams-Renault, a bit of a problem with suspension. It's a little bit rough on this rather bumpy track we've got here. Pole position this afternoon belongs to Ayrton Senna. Next to him, Alain Prost. Behind them, we have Damon Hill and we have Michael Schumacher. So in front, you've got two of the pros. Behind them, two of what they call the Young Lions fighting for a win. And there are actually five drivers here. Everything is made. It's been nice to get a good result today. Um, finish it second in the constructors, but in reality, if we're third, um, as always, you know, it won't be of great concern to me because there's only one place that I really enjoy being, and uh, that's at the front. Two o'clock, McLaren's bid for a place in motor racing history is delayed by a false start. Back to the five-minute board. No refueling. Back to the five-minute board, please. One of the cars further down the grid stalled its engine. They waved the yellow flag, then another car stalled. They abandoned the start. Those cars will be pushed to the back of the grid. This star. We're on the five minute board. In fact, I think we're going to three minutes now. The race is reduced by one. I want another jump battery. Prost was creeping forward as soon as he called for first. I don't know if it is deliberate or not. May have a problem. Senna makes the most of his pole position. As part of the race strategy, he pours on the power to gain an early lead. His car is as light as possible. It has just enough fuel to last the race's 79 laps. Senna's early charge burns up fuel. He cannot keep up this pace for long, or he'll run out before the end, as he did at Silverstone. Minus one. Giorgio has to work out how many litres of fuel will be left by the end of the race. If the result is a minus, it means there won't be enough to finish. So right from the start, Ron is concerned. 
distance to fill. Look, at the moment we are really down to settle, minus 0.2 liters. Of course, if you multiply this for this enormous number of laps, it's going to make a bigger difference. So I think we are panicking for nothing. Yes. I'm not panicking, we're discussing it. Sorry, we are discussing it. Later in the race, Senna can drive to conserve fuel. He can also alter the engine settings to use a less rich mixture. Meanwhile, there are other key decisions to be made, like when to change tyres. Senna does not always agree with his pit wall team. Stop for tyres. He's saying no. You are four seconds slower. Okay, squad director, we try once more to stop him. The point is, at the moment, we have a 10 second buffer. We can up by 10 seconds. Still get out. Yeah, but he's got a lot of work to do, and we got we're light on fuel. With the lead, we can conserve fuel. I just said no, no, no. Not this that. Senna. He's in the lead, but a wrong decision could still cost McLaren the race. Now, strategy is everything. I want to bring the fuel back, really positive, 20 laps on. Bring it back, three or four, don't worry, you know, just put some, let's get the fuel back. Now, just to show you that I'm not polemic for nothing. Now's not the time. Let's get the fuel back in turning. Mix one. It's a big day for McLaren, very big day for McLaren, and Ayrton is going, but I'm glad that we did it with Ayrton.